Greetings everybody, this is Dave Matuzic from MacDeck Engineering and I have another tech tip for you. You may notice here that this doesn't look like Mastercam, but it is. This is Mastercam 2017, which is the next release of Mastercam due out the summer of 2016. Just like buying a new car, a little bit ahead of the curve here on the year. Now, looking at this, it looks different. But there's a lot of cool things about this new user interface that I guarantee you're going to like. For one thing, it's a lot cleaner. If you're um, used to using some of the Microsoft or Adobe products, it has ribbon bars instead of some other things, and it is fully customizable. So I'm going to take a couple weeks to go through a lot of the cool things you can do in this interface. And I'm going to start off with some simple things here that are a little bit different from X9 and earlier versions of the X Master Cam here. And one thing I want to start off here with is this little view button right here. And I can turn on here toolpaths and view my toolpath bar. Solids, I have a solids tab at the bottom. Planes, I have down here. And I can actually come off and undock it. I can undock them individually. And actually, if I have dual monitors, this is great because I can lay out a whole bunch of panes on a second monitor the way I want to see them. And I can leave these open, so I can leave my plane manager open, for example. Same thing here with, say, my levels manager. And I can also take and put them back together. I also have a little icon on it, so you can see it came up right here, of where I want to dock things. And this would be really cool, but I have a really small screen here. So I'm actually going to close some of these out that I'm not going to use here. A little cool little feature about this. I'm actually going to shrink this smaller here. I have a little pin button here now, auto hide. So if I don't have dual monitors, I can leave this stuff here and have it just auto hide as I don't if I don't use it. So I get some cool little features down here. I'm going to close that out for now. Another quick little tip I'm going to give you guys here is maybe how to change some attributes. And we'll get some more exciting stuff as, as the week goes on here. Now, in the past, in Mastercam, to change the attribute of something, like let's say I want to make this solid here a different color, I'd click on it. And I'd go down, there was, used to be a tool there down along here at the bottom. I had my color. I'd right-click on that color and change it. A little bit different here now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and right-click anywhere at all. I don't have to move my mouse off the screen. I have my color button here. So I'm going to click this color, and I'm going to make that, I'll make it blue. And there we go. I'll grab this red here. I'll right click. And I will make it maybe this uh, dark green. Or make my line thickness here as thick as possible. So that's how I change attributes here in Mastercam. 2017. If I want to change the attribute of just one thing, I can select it, right click, and change it. Now another thing I can do here, if I want to change the attributes of everything I'm going to draw from here on out, again I can just right click, change it, and now everything I do from that point forward will be at the attribute that I'm using, which happens to be hidden lines that are very thick. Now let me show you some other things here. There used to be an all only button along the top here to select things, and they replaced that mostly with quick with these quick mask buttons here. So if I want all my wireframe, I'll just come down here to 
wireframe, select all wireframe entities, and if you notice if I move my mouse over them, it tells me what it is. So you have all wireframe and only wireframe. So I'll click all wireframe, and I'm going to make all my wireframe here that large line thickness. Or I'll come down here, I'll go to only wireframe, click on that, and now I can't click on my solid, I can only click on wireframe. Okay, so that's the all and only as replaced by those quick masks. I'll just turn off that. Actually, you know what? I just want this green solid to be a different color. So I'll go down, I'll go down to color. I'll pick everything that's that green color. And I'm going to make it this odd mustard color here. And I still have advanced selection options here. So I go down here to advanced. You'll recognize this box here probably from uh, older versions here. But I'll go to say miscellaneous. And I'm going to grab every arc that's, say, this diameter. is only one on the screen there because these are multiple arcs. Probably was a spline originally. Let's try that again. I'll grab that here. So I'll go to all arcs that are a diameter of that. And I'm going to make them Okay, so that's just some basic user interface things in Mastercam 2017. And like I said, I'm going to get more and more into this over the next few weeks. So stay tuned, come back for more, and thank you and have a great day.